Hey everyone, I'm here to show you how to set up your own free Ventrilo server. Uh, before we get started, I would like to uh, tell everyone that my computer is a little bit slow and you just need to bear with me. Um, I brought most of it up. That should cut down some of the load times, but I'm going to show you how to get into everything. Okay, first you want to go to Ventrilo, uh, Ventrilo.com and you want to go to the download section of the website. You then want to uh, download, if not you haven't already done so, the client program. And then you want to download the server program. After that, you'll want to install them. I have the icons here, but I've already installed them. So, um, and after that, you want to go to start in all programs. You then want to open. Uh, you should have already have a Ventrilo open. You don't have to, but it just helps. And then you want to go to Vent SRV. You want to go to Edit INI file. And uh, when that comes up, this is your server. This is anything about it, like um, the name. I'm going to name mine. Matt's bent. Um, you can set all this like an admin password. Uh, that's for, of course, administration. Um, I don't um, haven't set one because I haven't really gotten to the server yet. I just made this video first. Um, you can also set a password for your Ventrilo server. This means that anybody that wants to access your server has to enter that password, or they will not be able to connect. Uh, you can set all this. I'm not going to go into all of it because it'll just take too long and half of it you just really don't want to mess with. Um, silent lobby. Uh, I make my lobby silent because I like them joining a channel, but you don't have to. It's completely up to you. But after you're done editing this, you want to go to save. And then you can you can just close it really, but I'm just going to minimize it. Um, after that, you want to find uh, Ventrilo. And you want to do just like any other server, you just want to hit on the arrow, which will bring up this window. I'm not going to enter my IP address because you don't need to know my IP address. Um, you will enter your IP address for your server when uh, when you set it up. Your port number, you always want to keep that as 3784. That's the default port number, and since you're doing this uh, as free, that's the one you're going to you're gonna want to have. You don't want to edit that at all. Um, also, um, I will note, I will... Uh, say that this is only eight users max. Uh, for any other more users, you will have to rent a server. Um, also, when you do rent a server, the port number may change, but it will tell you. And uh, but unless it does change, keep it as three seven eight four. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get your IP address because I know a lot of people don't know where their IP address is because really nobody really bothers about it. One of the, the things I do is this is just the easiest for me, but you can actually get it off of the Ventrilo website you just click on my IP and it'll bring it up uh, but the one of the ways I do it is I go to run and I type in CMD as you can see I've already typed it in and I hit OK and it brings up uh, Windows control and you can type in IP config no spaces and uh, I'm not going to hit enter because again you don't need to know my IP address but uh, when you do hit enter it will bring up everything you need to know about your IP address you don't um, after that you just enter it on Ventrilo but you may notice that it still says contacting server and for that you need to go into Ventrilo server it's also under vent SR SRV you want to open that and you have to keep this open to run your server now I don't have my IP address entered so it won't say say it but uh, it will say server is available ready to connect but you have to always have this open as long as you're connected or anyone else is connected to your server if you close it your server will go offline um, also if you want to not do that I don't know if it will work on your computer because it did not work on mine but you can go back to vent SRV and you go to service and you hit install I'm not sure if that will work but uh, if it does, it, if it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. It's not that much of a nuisance. But um, after that, if um, you may, uh, one of the complaints I get is, or if I've seen, is that my friends cannot connect, and I've had that problem. What you have to do is you have to uh, open the ports on your IP, or not your IP, excuse me, your firewall, and you can go to this site it's called portforward.com. It'll show you also how to show you how to uh, forward your ports on your router because I, I hear a lot of complaints about that as well. Um, just go to this and you click on guide. I'm not going to click on it because it will show your IP. You click on guides and it'll bring up guides on router and the firewall, how to open the ports or forward the ports. And um, that should help and that should get your friends to join. 
or be able to join, be able to connect. Um, I don't need that anymore. And then after that's about all you have to do. But remember, you have to keep this up while you're trying to run this. And um, I, I will make another video to show you how to set it up as far as administration goes, how how to make new channels and stuff. It's pretty simple, but uh, it was a little bit confusing to me at the beginning. So uh, I'll make another video about that. But that's about it. I hope this video helps, and I hope you enjoyed it.